In this video, I ask every rank to show me their best site setup for kids' dorms on Oregon, and wow, this was an interesting video to record. It was a lot of fun seeing the game through the different perspectives of a lower rank. It really reminded me of myself from seven years ago when I first started playing Siege. But with all that said, let's get into these site setups, starting from Copper and going up to Champ. Now, before anyone starts freaking out in the comments, talking about no way they thought this was the right way to set up the site, I just want to say that it's really easy to view the maps and even the entire game completely different once you actually know what you're doing. Once you understand what you're doing and where you're going, it's hard to unsee that. To us, it may look blindingly obvious how to set this site up, but to your average casual player who isn't worried about virtual points and who doesn't know what default takes are, the map can literally look completely different. I think Siege is oftentimes viewed as this very slow tactical FPS game, sort of like Zero Hour, where people are very carefully and methodically clear every little corner and angle, when in reality, it's nothing like that. Another thing I think people forget is that if you're low in ELO like this, unless you're running into a smurf, pretty much everyone is thinking about the same thing as these players are. So it's easier for site setups like this to work because the attacks aren't what you think they are. The attacks are probably just as wacky as these defenses are. So when you come to think of it, it's honestly really funny and I hope it reminds you of the fun that you had when you first started playing Siege and you were learning the game. Um, All done? Yep. Alright, so let's start probably in dorms, uh, the, the hall over here. So, the main thing that I saw that I found interesting was that for the wall here, you decided to open up the left side. Why'd you open up this side here instead of reinforcing it? If you stand here, they can't shoot you and you can just pre-fire like that. Got you, okay. Door. Your idea was maybe like try to play close to the shotgun or like an SMG and try to hold yeah, down a closet. Really that. Got you. Okay. All right. So, what about the hole that you've got in attic wall? Why'd you choose to leave this open? Because if there's someone playing attic, mm -hmm. they can stand behind this wall and hold balcony. Right. Door. Okay. Got you. And then, so instead of a, a rotate on white, you had like a little hole. Is there any reason for that? These stairs here. Right. You just don't want them to rotate through it. Mm hmm. That's correct. Sure. Okay. And then, was there a reason that you made the holes on this wall? Is there a reason you made them on this wall instead of this wall? And was there a reason you made them headlight? Yes. Because if you're playing around here, you can, if there's someone playing, I don't know what that's called. So I just throw a smoke out there hmm. and then pop the smoke. Which is what I'd usually do. Got you. Okay. Let's see, what else do we got? Uh, so I guess we'll talk about the shield placement. So the shield placement, you were kind of just thinking this way you could play top white and not really have to worry about big window, I suppose. Yeah, gotcha. actually. Oh. Okay. So while recording this, I wanted to see if I could spot any patterns between some of the ranks. One of the things I expected to see a lot in the lower ranks was the misuse of barricades. If you've ever played casual, you'll know that bad players tend to barricade anything and everything for just about no reason. That's something that I saw first being used by the bronze player. I think that they use barricades to feel a sense of control and security, which is why we see most entrances barricaded up almost immediately. So what's the reasoning for kind of reinforcing attic off with both like the actual wall reinforcements and the barricade? I mean, I guess if someone would push attic, then that will just block off complete access to B bomb. Mm -hmm. And I guess this to just partially hold them off with a hole to get possibly a peek on them when they're pushing. I guess that's it. Another thing I noticed amongst the lower ranking players is hesitancy and indecisiveness in their actions. And is there any reason you didn't make a rotate between um, A and B here? Yeah, probably should have reinforced that. Yeah, that would be smart to reinforce. Well, do you think you should reinforce it or do you think you should make a rotate there? Uh... 
I think this comes from not really knowing what the attack is going to do or where they're going to come from, which could also be the reason they barricade everything. I'm not showing it here as I don't want it to get super repetitive, but I did show each of these players the right way to set the site up. And I did explain to them the flaws in their initial setup to try and help them learn a little bit. Siege is a hard game and learning the site setups is such a complicated thing because of how much knowledge you have to have to even get started. To even begin setting up the site, you have to know the map and what's behind each wall and floor. Not only that, but you need to know how the attack will generally push each site. Once you know all of that, you can start figuring out how you want to set up the site. But it's easy to say this in a video, but actually learning everything I just mentioned can take months, even just for one map. Siege is infinitely complex, which makes it a nightmare for new players also the game that we all know and love probably a reinforce more than a rotate honestly well, why, why do you think i that? mean a rotate could work if someone's i guess uh repelling window or if someone's gonna push through here not to peek the uh the door then you mm -hmm. can just go through here right why would you think you should reinforce that um that's a good question i actually don't know why i would reinforce <laughs> that <laughs> okay um, all right, so what's the reasoning for the barricade here on white stairs? I mean, uh, again, probably just to hold them off if they're pushing quick, it just sound cute. Uh, I guess also if we run Malusi like you like to, just place a Malusi there. It's also another good sound cue. If no one's running Malusi, then we can barricade that. Got you, okay. And so you've put a rotate here. Is there any like specific reason for that? Um, I guess if someone opened a big window, you can probably get like a quick peek on the window. Also rotate from one bomb site to the other. Okay. So I was asking myself, at what point will the setup start to improve? I was hoping it would be silver, but it looks like we're not quite there yet. I think this video really shows what separates people from rank to rank. Game sets is very important, and if you don't know basic site setups, that's a telling sign that you don't have the best game sense. A lot of people who are hard stuck in lower ranks will talk about how good their aim and KD is, but that really won't get you far in Siege if you don't have the game sense to back it. If you really want to improve at Siege, in my opinion, the best thing you could do is to learn the inner workings of it the best that you can. <clears throat> All good? All right, yeah. cool. All right, so let's start off in Attic. So the first question I have is why you decided to shock and open a line of holes on the bottom of this wall. Um, I've seen how pros might use this, and um, I've been able to sometimes get kills with this by shooting at drone holes, or not drone holes, but the holes, and I might have shot a little too high right here, but mm. um, yeah, that's how I use it. Okay, so you kind of just use it to like stop them from pushing into trophy as much yeah okay cool all right so moving on to the white wall here why did you reinforce this here um uh I you it's usually reinforced whenever i play and i just reinforced it so if they push here they can't try to do this uh, okay so gotcha why do you think it's normally reinforced um I don't know, usually, I feel like it's just like if they get open up window, they can get a line of sight over into A bomb and then they can just attack from there as well. Okay. All right. And then coming over to the actual dorms. So you shot up in a line of head holes here. What was the reason for that? Um, so if you, once you, you can um, be able to get a line of sight on double window in here and then you can like you can move around and see a while in here so for trying to plant you can you might be able to uh take out the planter <clears throat> the gold player is where i started to see some actual improvement in the site setup and gold is also now the rank above average this would make sense to me to put yourself above average you need to have above average skills and this is the first time we've seen it so far in this video so we can really see how game sense alone can take you all the way from copper to gold. Sure, there's other factors as well, but this shows that basic game sense is a huge part of it. But I think we all knew that. I just find it really cool to see it laid out in a visual manner for everyone to see like this. Yeah. All done? 
Yep, obviously doors will be barricaded, but um, yeah, that's basically it. Cool. All right. So you actually have set the site up um, the best so far. Definitely. Ooh. So most people... Oh, sorry. You're good. Most people have been like reinforcing top white so far and they've been making head holes here. Um, not yeah, not fee holes. And then some people were opening up the entirety of this wall. Some people weren't reinforcing it at all. Uh, yeah. Some people were reinforcing this off completely. So you definitely set this up the best so far. The only things that I would change is generally if you want to open up a uh, line of sight here, uh, at least me personally, I like to open it up on the left side. That way. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, so you can get in the kit as a master. Yeah, because if you're going to open a line of sight there, usually it's because they're, the other team's doing a heavy master take. So you want to uh -huh. be able to kind of contest that from attic. So sometimes you'll put someone deep attic, usually like a dock or a rook, and you'll have yeah. the left wall open. Sometimes um, I would uh, like play, if this wall is open, I would play here. So whenever they try and like run in, you get like a headshot on them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm the right side could, it. yeah, the right side could work. Personally, I prefer on the left side. Um, yeah. I don't actually, I don't, I haven't watched Pro League to know which is like meta. Last I saw it was the left wall, um, but I, I could see how the right wall could work. So personally, yeah. I would have changed it to the left wall is open and the right wall is reinforced. And then the shield is good. The rotates good. Uh, all the reinforcements are good. This door has been barricaded every single time so far. Um, personally, I like to keep this soft. Just because... Have like a Melissa or something? Yeah, I like to have a barbed Banshee wire. that's here. Or barbed wire. Um, yep. If if they end up pushing you out of top white and someone's playing big window, you kind of are stuck here. And if someone goes to crouch up white, you're not going to hear them because of the barricade. So yeah. I like to keep it soft or uh, unbarricaded. That way you kind of have more flexibility. Um, and then one last minor thing is I like to reinforce this wall. Just so I was that they can that, but I was like debating. Yeah, I saw because, that. Like, they run in and then they crouch too. So like, yeah, oh, that is spray. that is the one thing is you kind of have to choose, but you could usually come here and, and shoot them. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, overall, you definitely set this up the best by then, far. I don't know if everyone does this, but I um, personally would put uh, holes up here just mm. for if you're playing. Um, this might, you know, oh, this angle, yeah. Up here. Yeah. And you can get his uh, head height, just aim down, and you can get an easy kill. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad Pretty at all. Good. That is where you really start to see everything come together, and where it gets really hard to tell what rank you're in by just looking at the site setup. For this setup, it's indistinguishable from any champ lobby, and that's why I decided to not show a diamond for this video. Once you get to this level, pretty much everyone knows what to do and how to do it. The main difference going past plat is just mechanical skill and decision making. All good? Yep. Cool. All right. So you're the plat player now. The last person I did this with was the gold player. And I told them that they were the best so far to set the site up. But now you are the best to set the site up. Pretty much setting it up exactly how I would set it up. Literally, practically zero complaints. The only thing I would have done differently so far was reinforce the hatch. Uh, that way you're able to like kind of play on it if you needed. Oh, I have that. Um, I have it. I have an issue where uh, in game we have to flank a lot because we uh sometimes if our gunfights fail us, we have to flank. Yeah, yeah, I can see it either way. It kind of depends on like the team that you're playing. It's I think so. I I would, I could see you opening it or having it reinforced. So, um, yeah. Another thing I guess we'll, I'll ask for the video. Um, is there any specific reason you shotgunned open the line of holes in master? Oh, uh, well, I only did it because I have some people that prefer it, depending on the uh, depending on the IGL that I play with. Hmm. It's either this wall's open to counter this, or so they, um, well, there's three things. Uh, they want this wall open to counter master and closet push. They, are, they want the deployable that I have there uh, in an attic right here instead to counter master push. Hmm. Uh, what I prefer as a player, I, I prefer having that wall shut. And having this, just this deployable right here. This is placed wrong, but still. Yeah, I prefer the same thing. And then, is there a specific reason that you made the 
line of holes here on white stairs instead of a rotate hole? Uh, yeah, a rotate would give them too much access. If they got control of white, they'd get control of a default plant and this area right here, which can just give them a plant. If they have a person watching top white as well, hmm. they can easily get a plant off right in this corner. Right. Yeah, that's smart. I've noticed that that's become more default. It used to be that you made a rotate here, but more people are opting to make just a line of holes. So it's interesting to see like the meta evolve for the map. All right. So lastly, we have the champion setup, and for this, it's going to be much of what we just saw with the plat setup. But let's compare anyways to see if there are truly any differences. We're good. Yep, that's about it. I mean, I could add a little bit more, but cool. Yeah. So definitely, pretty much the exact way I'd set up the site. The only thing I would do differently is generally in ranked, I would keep this reinforced only because ranked players aren't coordinated enough usually to have this open. But if you're in like an actual five stack, this could like easily work out very well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, a lot of times you'll actually have like an ADS right here and someone can play close with either shoddy. Like usually it's the smoke that plays close here, so yeah because they can play shield and close wall and then yeah on top of that sometimes if you can't get like over the wall to throw it uh, a nitro into like from here you just shoot right here and toss a nitro over right yeah i mean the site is set up pretty much perfectly i don't have any if you're changes holes, if you're wondering about the holes mm -hmm. so this hole is to here if they come from green hall this hole, a lot of times someone likes to float back here for the big window jump in, so they can also watch for the dining, you know? Mm. And then yeah. this hole is if someone's playing big window, if they're sprinting Z, if they're sitting here, they can hear them sprinting Z from this hole, so. Right, got you. And they yeah. can also watch security walk in, so it's like, it's like also pretty good, so. Yeah, I mean, it's smart, like, uh, this is pretty much exactly how I'd set the site up. I don't see any problems with this. This looks like your default uh, hold in champ ranked. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's pretty much all I needed.